advice would you give to sort of him and his teammates for what's the most important things going forwards? I just think keep keep things simple, keep it fun. Um, you know, very very rarely do you get players who are who are world beaters or have been told they world beaters at the age of eleven, twelve, even all the way up to sixteen, seventeen. And I think as long as you're enjoying the game and, and you're prepared to work hard and, and give up, you know, and sacrifice certain things and be disciplined, then you know just keep working hard, listen to your coaches, and, and keep out of trouble. You know, I guess it's you know. Um, a lot of it is about luck it's about hard work you need a little bit of luck on the way to try and to try and make it but um, there's enough quality coaches out there there's some fantastic amateur coaches in, in rugby league and, and fantastic people involved in the sport so just make it fun keep enjoying it and, and never forget why you play the game and even at even at the first team level and international level sometimes we forget what we're there to do we're there to play rugby and, and uh, enjoy it and uh, I think that's the main thing well thank you ever so much Mike for taking the time to chat Um you know, we'll try and make sure we retweet all of your events as well to keep people informed. No, I really appreciate that. Thanks for having me on. All right, take care. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Bye-bye. Thanks again to Mike for giving up his time and giving some great advice for all the budding rugby league players uh, out there. I I have to say, I mean, after hearing Mike's chat, I, I did want more. I mean, people say there aren't as many characters and personalities in our game these days. I, I think we're learning firsthand through this miniseries that that just isn't true. And some great memories and some great stories from Mike there. So thanks again. Um, he started his first team career for Warrington in 2006, becoming a fairly regular member of their side by the time he lifted his, lifted his first piece of silverware, the 2009 Challenge Cup at Wembley, being part of Wyre's triumph over Huddersfield. 2010 saw him spend some time on loan at Castleford before working his way back in at Warrington and becoming a mainstay of their strong sides between 2011 and 2013, winning the League Leaders' Shield, of course, in 2011. Then came his NRL move, which Mike gave Sarah some great insight on. Three seasons for the NRL's Dragons, playing six nine times and scoring three tries as he became an important part of the side, missing just four matches in those three years. He moved home to Super League and to Warrington in 2017. By this time, a full England international earning eight caps for England during 2015 and 2016. Back at Warrington, he quickly became an important part of the team again and played his part in the 2019 Challenge Cup success over St. Helens. In all, over his two spells of his hometown team, he's made 215 appearances and scored 18 tries to, uh, to, the, to date. Uh, more to come, I'm sure. What a really nice guy. Um, n- nearly so nice that we would wish it to be Warrington's year before his career ends. Nearly. But congratulations to Mike on a fine career so far and all that's to come. Um, we really hope the Warrington fans are out in force on Thursday night to support him and for all his testimonial year events uh, ahead of us um, thanks to you guys all for listening to this SLP show don't forget that our big season preview show is just a few days away now and we'll also look to bring you a Danny Bruff testimonial special as well before too long keep an eye out, out on our social media feeds and your podcast apps for those episodes to drop until then though keep enjoying and supporting the greatest game of all rugby league <laughs>